Yeah, I was just messing around here. Um, I don't have the uh, the gauge for this to be able to do the rakers. Uh, I ordered one from uh, <clears throat> West Coast, and it should be here on Monday. It, the the Husqvarna gauge it won't work on this. It's it's just it's this is the way this thing is set up. The the teeth are lower, so. But what I have is this rudimentary setup, and I know there's other guys that came up with one uh, that actually you had a piece, uh, a flat piece of stock, and then you had a stem coming up where the indicator sat on it, and then there was a hole drilled through, and I think the indicator bottom was different. I don't know. I haven't watched the video in a while, but basically what the guy did was he ended up just taking it and sticking it on there between the two teeth and he could measure his raker this is just a different way to do it i i think actually i think his way might be a little better because you can be a little quicker but this this is just a way that i came up with now ideally uh you should have the raker gauge for this so you could set them i didn't so i just kind of eyeballed it as best i could and if you wanted to use this system, you'd probably have to have like a flatter surface where you could hold this saw down. And, you know, I've got the magnetic base on a couple pieces of metal, but you'd really want a nice big heavy plate. In other words, so the saw can't move or this can't move. It's pretty much stationary. It's how you want it. But this this will work. So let's see what we got here. Um, got the tooth up there. And we're at about two thousandths. We'll just say that zero. And let's check the raker here. And we're at twenty thousandths. Let's check another tooth. Now we're at about two thousandths again, so that's good. It's repeating. And this raker, again, twenty thousandths. Let's try another one here. So it looks like the raker gauge, you know, the way that I did it, it actually came out pretty accurate. And yeah, we're about one thousandths. So, like I said, when I'm bumping this and moving it, you may move it a thousandths. If everything was strapped down nice and tight, you'd be golden. And we got about nineteen thousandths there. That's three. I'll check. Let me just check one over here somewhere. Okay. And about zero. And about 22 thousands or so. That seemed to work halfway decent um, when I was cutting with it compared to the off the roll. I think the off the rolls are like 16 or 17 thousands. So he's got a couple more um, swipes off the raker. The difference in cut speed was nothing, but it just seemed like it lugged the motor down a little bit. Um, maybe I'll try 25 with this. And we'll see what we come up with. Maybe I'll pick up a little speed. I don't know. We'll see. Alrighty. Good night.